so we're going to take a quick tour of my 2022 Freightliner Cascadia with driver lounge and the video is going to be set up based on photographs I felt like that was easier uh, and a more concise way of showing you the inside of taking a bunch of pictures and I'll be talking through uh, most if not all the pictures and the video instead of me like holding the camera around and shaking it all over the place you're going to just see pictures still images of of the inside of the truck and for the most part it's 99 percent exactly what you would see if you were to go to freightliner and look at a new cascadia on the lot none of my stuff is in there it's a blank shell so let's take a look and get this tour going all right guys getting into the 2022 freightliner cascadia we're going to first see that you're going to find your standard cab area with your steering wheel with steering wheel controls cup holders this is the passenger side there is a little uh, cubby spot there to the left side both driver and passenger are leather air seats with both heating and ventilation and lumbar support as a closer view of the cup holders there are three two closer to the driver and then one closer to the passenger there's your console regular air dumps so on and so forth all right both on the passenger and the driver's side you're going to find two cabinets or one cabinet on each side rather um, they have a decent depth to them and they're really convenient to, to access just above the driver you're going to find there's another access cabinet and above the passenger as well they're both the same size that's a closer look inside of the cabinet for both the passenger and the driver again they're the same size this is going to be your access in the rear for storage and whatnot. Uh, inside of there is your ventilation. There's the taller cabinet for hanging up clothes. It does have a hanging bar inside of there. That's the lower cabinet just under the tall cabinet we just mentioned. This is inside of that cabinet and all the spaces are, are really deep. That's just showing you how much space would be behind the seat if you need to see that. There's a refrigerator and here's inside of the refrigerator. It does have a freezer. This does have the drawer style and it's a very small freezer in my opinion. I don't know why they cut those so slim. Um, this is gonna be your, uh, for your, really your junk drawer is what it is. It does have a felt uh, liner inside of it. Uh, this is gonna be the top portion of that where your TV would essentially swing in front of. That's your microwave spot. Uh, another cubby hole that's on the passenger side, uh, equally as deep as the one on the driver's side. That's the top bunk and you'll see above there are the LED lighting. This is the driver lounge with both passenger and driver's side seating. Um, the seats are really comfortable and the table does move it goes it will drop down and in just a moment you'll see how it makes room for the bed there's the cup holder with the table there's the space that you'd see under the table with the table lifted up and your air controls that you have access to from the bed or from the seat if you're sitting there you're going to fold the seats down drop the table down just like you see here there's a handle up under there and then you're going to drop the bed down and that's going to show you that's going to get you the bed or the bed access for the bottom bunk rather and here i have not put the mattress on yet just showing you again blank slate what you would see at a freightliner dealership and with the seats in the down position before you lower the bed you have access to your under storage which would be in your side box which is where my power inverter is and my safety triangles and my fire extinguisher and things like that 
One thing I did want to circle back to real quick is the in between the two seats, there's a ton of space. Um, they've really done a, a great job with making the interior of this cab as roomy as possible. Because in my opinion, the rubberized flooring that comes in most trucks just has this like clinical almost feeling to it. It just doesn't feel homey at all, no matter what you do. So I've always wanted carpet. So here's what it looks like before and after. Uh, I installed carpet day one before I put anything in here and it really changes the way it looks. It changes the way it feels. And then once it's all set up with the table and the carpet and all that, I mean, this is, this is the final view of what the, the back area looks like. I myself am very happy with it. I love it and I think it's gonna make uh, a great addition to my comfort while I'm out on the road, uh, having started my new business and I'm excited about it. Well, that's it, that's all. 2022 Freightliner Cascadia with Driver Lounge. Any questions or comments, leave them below. Until next time, drive on driver. And y'all stay safe out there.